Hi guys, it's Dana. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have something a little different. Um, I guess you would say this is not along the theme of my what my channel is about, but my channel's really kind of like Seinfeld. It's not really about anything. And so, um, so sticking with that theme, we're gonna do something totally different. As you can see, I am out in my lovely garage and um, we are gonna work on a project for my church. Um, Easter's coming, it's mid-March right now. Easter is coming and I have, I have crazily volunteered to do the set for our church stage for Easter. <laughs> but I was just, you know, I was, I was sitting in church one Sunday and I was looking and I was like, oh, um, you know, I could easily do, and I was just sitting there thinking, don't worry, it was during announcements, not during preaching. So, <laughs> but I was thinking, you know what? I could make a tomb for up there and wow, wouldn't that look good? And then in the background, we could have some, you know, black shadowed paper to look like it's off in the distance, whatever. I had this whole vision in my head and I was like, okay, I just, I have to do it. I didn't think about it, I did, you know. Turns out all the materials that I need for this was quite a bit more money than I was hoping to spend, but you know, hey, all to the glory of God, right? So um, here we are, I'm getting started. I'm guessing this is gonna be a two, three day project. I'm hoping it is because I need to have this ready for next week. Um, but let me show you just real quick some of the things, um, the items that I have purchased and um, this, is, this is my material list for this project. So if I should need more things as the project progress and go, oh, okay, I should probably have this, I should probably have that. If I need some of those things, um, I will let you know as we go. just show you what I initially have purchased and um, hopefully it'll be enough because I'm broke now okay so the first thing I have here is um, just for some pieces of wood and I didn't want to go into the lumber yard and you know spend a ton of money on wood so I picked up these wooden stakes they're pointy on one end flat on the other let me get one of them out of here there's they're 24 inch one by one by two. Um, so they're they're staked on one end, flat on the other. They're 24 inch, one by two, and I got 24 of them in this package. So um, yeah, I, I'm hoping that that will be enough to give me a rock, to give me a sturdy enough surface to do sort of a rock facade tomb and the, the stone to be rolled away. And then, um, you know, just some miscellaneous stones laying around. Um, those probably won't even need any wood. So um, I just need this for, um, to give me some support in my structure. Okay, so I have 24 pieces of those. I bought, um, this is red rosin paper, a 36 inch, by 167 feet roll of paper. And this is pretty hard, solid, focus, focus, focus. Okay, um, so this is pretty um, thick construction type paper. Um, I got it in the painting department and I got two rolls of these, hopefully that will be more than enough for what I need. And, okay, and then I got, then I got two of these poultry netting, which is basically just chicken wire. Um, and this is 50 feet in length, two feet in height. It's one inch mesh. So I don't know if you can, that's that kind of, not hexagon is what you call that type. 
down here um, is my paint supplies. I just went and got it and they had a special, this is the Pittsburgh Ultra and they had a special going on at the time where you get the quart size for five bucks. So I picked up three different colors. I got like a, a brownish color. Not sure if you can really see that. I got a lighter stony brownish tan color and then a more taupey gray um, color. And I'm just going to kind of mix all these. I got um, some just craft brushes to put that in that. I got some glue. There's going to be some places where I'm going to have to glue the paper together. And also I'm going to put some of this mixed in with all of my paint. Probably just one of these, I'll put a third in each one of these. And then this one I'll, I'll use for when I need to glue pieces together. Um, I got a quick cheap roller and a sponge. This I will probably rip up because I want it to be real jagged. I'll probably um, rip this up and, uh, and do some you know rock design when I'm painting. Okay, so instead of using a regular rolling pan, I can be sloppy with this. And um, I, I have just mixed three different colors in here. I don't know, I'm gonna show you my pan here real quick. I just mixed, I just marbled all those colors together and I'm just reaching in and grabbing what I can in each roll and that's how this is gonna go. So we need to do this part really quick and then we'll come back with in some with some detail, we'll, we'll come back in. I don't want too many lines, obvious roller brush lines there. I like to do my designing and my blending while it is still wet because to me, then, then the colors dry together and they blend together better. Um, to me, it just gives, it's my experience, it gives me a more natural look. So I'm gonna take some of this dark gray. Oh, let me get the new paintbrush. So I'm going to come in with some of the dark gray color and just with a paintbrush and I'm going to make it fairly dry, not too wet. I'm just going to come in and start doing some of this. Um, you want to move all around. You don't want to uh, leave too much in, you know, um, you don't want these to be obvious uh, paint marks from a paintbrush. So um, when you get the paint on there, you want to kind of move it around as quickly as possible before it starts drying up on you, which it's not going to dry too quickly because um, the paint underneath it is wet. So it's, again, this is another reason why I like doing it when it's all wet because um, you can, you, you've got, <laughs> you've got time to work with your paint. Um, so that's just my thing. So I've ripped apart my sponge here, and what I'm gonna do is just kind of reach in here and pull little divots out um, so that I can, some to make it more like a seafoam, uh, those seafoam brushes, or those seafoam uh, sponges that you get, they have more crevices and, and texture to them, so that's just kind of what I'm creating here um, using this just regular cheap sponge.
Okay, so now I don't know if you can see this, um, but because my paint is still wet here, um, I'm, I'm picking up, I can see on my sponge that I'm picking up some of the gray that's underneath this dark brown that I'm putting down, and it is really, really causing it to blend well um, so that it just doesn't look like sponge spots on top of painted paper. Um, at least that's what I think anyway. <laughs> Day two, I am starting on the construction framing of my um, tomb. And uh, I just wanna say, disclaimer, this is not how you build anything. Um, this is what you call jerry-rigging something. I'm getting started on the framing part of it and I'll show you how I do it even though this is not how you really build something. This is the jerry-rigging version of it. And you know, this is not something that's gonna, it's not a prop that's gonna be used. People won't be going in and out of it. Um, it's just gonna sit there for decoration. So if it's wimpy, if it's just, if the back is a hodgepodge mess, who cares, right? It's fine. That original um, materials list, uh-uh, <laughs> no. Um, I did this last night. And I, I, I apologize that I didn't film, but uh, I started to put this together last night and quickly realized this is not enough lumber. Um, and I could have gone back and just gotten a couple more bundles of these, uh, bundles of 24 but I thought, my goodness, um, I, I was having to, you know, saw off the edges of these um, spikes to get some blunt ends. And I just thought, I'll just buy some one by three um, cheap pine and we'll try to do something out of that. So that's what I've done. Um, I just went back to the lumber store, got some one by three, um, and I can cut it to the size that I need it and I'm still going to use this probably at the top of something because um, it's sturdy enough to use it just wasn't enough and I thought you know while I'm going to get lumber let's just get the real deal so um, that's what I'm doing and um, I'm basically just wanting to, to, to create a base structure that will keep my tomb standing and something that we can form the chicken wire around. Now my structure doesn't have to be the shape of the rock that I want it to be. Um, it just needs to be um, sturdy. That's all. The chicken wire, I can, I can make the shape of the rock that I want out of the chicken wire. So um, that's where we are with that. Um, so I'm gonna keep going. I will say I am using um, one and a half inch flathead Phillips wood screws. I have my husband's uh, handy dandy little drill here so I can free drill some holes for my screws. I have an old, 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 old handsaw um, to cut my wood with. I have one cord out here, so each time I use a new tool, I have to re-plug it in. That's fun. And then I also have, my goodness, this household has <laughs> so many, so many um, screwdrivers. Um, so, and I have an electric screwdriver, so I'll be using that. Um, all right, let's get playing around. I'm gonna start first by cutting out my base um, and, and the size that I want my structure.
ask me why I love the smell of sawdust <laughs> and wood. I think it reminds me of being in my dad's garage when I was a kid. Um, but yeah, I love that smell. <laughs> So I've got my one by threes, just two pieces of those, same size on the bottom here. And then um, just a piece of this um, one by two, um, these fence spike things, ground spikes. So, and I, you know, I cut those off um, down to like 10 inches on each side. So, all right. <clears throat> Then I'm gonna see my sides, and I think I'm gonna put those on the outside edge and drill. I want to 
think I'm gonna step this in here because I got screws on the top of here. So, and I don't, I don't need that. I, I don't wanna do any more here because I've already got two screws right there. So I think I'm gonna come in here, bring it in a little bit, attach these here, and then bring two more pieces up this way from here. Just, I'm thinking that's what'll work. So let's give it a try. in just some scrap wood I had in my garage. I had some old two by four and I decided to use that as the two bottom base pieces for weight. Um, and because I'm 
running out of wood. So this should be plenty of height. Yep. And just put that right on top. Screw that together. And I've got my first piece. <laughs> So I'll just be stapling edges of the chicken wire to the wood and then yeah, we'll, we'll form it how we want it and play around.
Okay, so it's the next day. I'm back in the garage, and now I am building the stone. Um, I, it does have to be above my head because my opening is above my head. So it's kind of kind of be more of an oblong stone than a round stone, which is perfectly fine. I am not a huge fan of the perfectly round stones that you see all the time because I doubt that they were perfectly round back then. So um, this is my base. I just did a kind of a T and I'm out of lumber. I'm running out of lumber, so I had to, <laughs> to bed, borrow, and steal. So... Um, we have a, a base with a center coming up and I just took the chicken wire, stapled it here to the bottoms on each side, kind of curled it around um, and then bring it up. And then to keep it rounded, I just took little pieces of wire here and kind of twist tied them together with the wire. I don't know if you can see that, yeah. So, um, so yeah, that's my, and then I stapled a few staples up here in the top to keep this section um, up here at the top, and then that's it. So I'll probably take it to the church like this, and then again, uh, when we're there and it's in place, then I will take and wrap my paper around it. That's it. Okay, so I'm here at my church now, and I didn't want to transport just like I did with the actual tomb. I didn't want to transport this with the paper wrapped around it, so I'm gonna do that part here. Um, and I just realized I should have done sort of a brace on this leg because it's kind of wobbly like this. So um, I'm completely out of wood. So I brought a cinder block and I'm just gonna <laughs> put it on there and it'll be hidden behind the paper anyway. So um, let's get started. We're gonna get this wrapped. And, um, yeah, but first we're going to crinkle it up so we can get some rock definition. I don't want to rip it too much. Oh, don't rip it. Okay. 